Okay, so uh, this will be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, uh, and as well Scorpio Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading for October 12th to uh, October 18th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a private reading with me or you do want to take one of my uh, tarot classes, in case you do like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read in the same way, all the information about both things you are to find in the description down below, as well as link to my Facebook page where there is a explicit or rather like unique content for the Facebook page uh, itself. So with that being said, uh, let's have a look what uh, this week has in store for us in terms of uh, in terms of Scorpio. So eight cards. Uh, let me first uh, lay them down. Right. So the first uh, four cards are going to describe um, our love and relationship into the uh, upcoming week here. And the second, uh, the second, the bottom half of the reading is going to describe our uh, our career. So to be fair, I don't like what I am seeing thus far. Okay, it's just. Oh man. Okay, so this is the career finisher. Uh, it looks really, really great. But it does look like that is going to be, uh, how can I say, uh, rather dynamic week in terms of career to say the least. But let's first focus in terms of a uh, relationship. Ah uh, man, we do have the Five of Pentacles here in this particular position. Uh, it's uh, with the Seven of Pentacles into the third position of the career of the relationship, and it glues itself together with the Queen of Cups, and that strongly suggests that we are to be swayed away. Uh, in a sense of that, even if we do have a person of interest, even if we do have someone that we liked a lot, or even if we are in a relationship itself, there will be that person that is very close to us. It could be a friend of ours, you know, or it could be a, a parental figurine, for example, like um, a mother, like a father or, or a sibling, whatever. I would think that we are not exactly in the right place where we should be in terms of love, in terms of relationship, or in other words, they're going to strongly dislike our choice. And uh, that being said, this individual who is uh, outright always there for us in a different aspects of our life is going to strongly suggest for us to not the very least believe blindly to um, to our person of interest or to our suitor or in generally into our relationship. And that is strongly suggests here with the Five of Pentacles. For the Five of Pentacles points that in terms of love, we are not going to be certain for our future, for, for, for our love unfoldment in, uh, in general, uh, which is going to make us doubt into the relationship we're in or doubt that the things in between us uh, and the person we chose are going to work out, you know, generally is going to make ourselves doubt in us, in, in ourselves, that is, uh, to a point where we are going to start questioning certain aspects and certain enterprises, certain endeavors, certain experiences that we do have within the, uh, within within the endeavor itself which is the endeavor love of love i'm sorry and that will be the most positive thing that is to happen to us throughout the week itself that is described here with the seven of pentacles for it shows that as we do second guess or as we do question um certain behaviors from our person of interest or for our partner in career we are also going to question our contribution and we are to readjust that contribution. In other words, if we are giving way too much and that is underappreciated, we're going to um, align the giving 
reciprocal to what we get in return or if we are giving way too less and we are expecting a lot more then we are going to adjust that giving as well giving more so we can receive more so in other words we are to regain balance in there through the game of a uh, of a giving and taking here with the seven uh, with the seven of pentacles unfortunately for many of us that will prove to be not worth in our while and uh, I, I hate saying it that way but some relationships are gonna break and if you decide it's time for you to walk away that will be a right decision for you to do but again that decision needs to come from you and you need to be convinced in it it's not like you're hearing that reading but you are contemplating you know should I stay or go and you hear if you leave it's right thing for you to do and you straight away make up your mind based on that uh, statement you have to be convinced that that's the right the right thing to do in order to do it so but if you are convinced then you need to know that you're doing the right thing that is the reassurance but the very least here in terms of our love life throughout the week we will have to uh, we, we are going to um, what was my thought here we are to realign ourselves with ourselves, if that makes uh, sense. And at the end of the week here, as the two of one suggests in terms of love, um, uh, I do have the vision in my head. It's just it's difficult to translate it. Um, it's no different than scraping out the rotten flesh from a bone, leaving only with the healthy tissue, right? Uh, and then allowing it to grow and, and replace whatever has been rotten. So it's like a, a, a repairment, it is like a, a fixture of what did not work from before into a new times to come moving forward. Right, so a bit of a rough week in term of uh, in term of relationships. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of things to think about for what it seems. Now let's look in term of a career. Things are looking rather not exactly well, uh, not exactly good. So we do have two individuals that we are working with, and one of them simply has to go. And unfortunately, there is no milder way for us to say it. Um, that's described here with these two cards there is someone who is trying to take over there is someone who is trying to push their way there is someone who is trying to overtake or overthrow us from our main um uh, from our main enterprises while the other person which is described here by the page of cups it kind of like sits aside patiently willing to follow us into what we are doing uh, believing that it is for the greater good and, and that's all that there is to it and while we are trying mildly to tell to say to this knights of um knights of swords i'm saying knights of swords because princess here in this deck represents knights while we're trying to mildly say, say to that knights of uh, swords the you know if they do not change their behavior and again the problem is within the behavior it is not like they cannot be a part of our team cannot be a part of our business the problem is that they're trying to overtake that business they're trying to overtake the idea they're trying to overthrow the the the, the, the enterprise if i may say it that way so if they do not change that attitude they simply has to go and while we are trying to make a point in a way that is not going to insult them and in a way that uh, it's it's made so you know regardless what they say they stick around we ultimately have to put an ultimatum and that is described here with the ten of swords so it's kind of like we're gonna have enough you know and we will want to know how they stand and what their true aims are in terms of you know cumulative business moving forward regardless what the answer is going to be with uh, the prince of swords here it seems that by the end of the week with the sun card we are to establish a uh, a lucrative business venture or we do have the chance to do it so for the sun in term of career pretty much stands of the natural development of our business or job so we are going to um deal with the infiltrator deal with the bad seed deal with the black sheep in the um uh, in the pasture uh, if that's if that's the english expression okay so pretty much uh that's uh all about that there is to in term of a job now in case you do look for a job uh scorpio 
then uh, what we do have is uh, someone is pretty much boosting you, you around no different than promising you that they're gonna find you a job or that they're gonna take you in to work for them but that thing never comes about and finally you have to undertake the things within your own hand within your own hands and go with the diff with the other individual that is actually instead of promising you um, or giving you empty words um, actually trying to um, to put your attention toward the overview rather than the details that are merely irrelevant at that particular point. And again, by the end of the week here, you are to find yourself in a rather very, very good spot. Uh, if not being in a good position in terms of job, getting there very, uh, rather rapidly this time around. So Scorpio, this was our weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it um, as much as I did. Although a rough week, it does look like that by the end of it, uh, results are going to be satisfiable. So uh, thank you so much for watching and um, we may see each other next time. Till then, bye.